y'all. Pam here with Be Creative Crafts and welcome back. So y'all, this is Baby Boy's Blanket here um, in the shades of blue. This is a navy um, in the Happily Stained. I did use black, but for him, I'm using blue. This is navy. Uh, and this is, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm going to do a simple single crochet border on his to hide these uh, where I pulled the or where I carried the yarn up the side. So I'm just going to do a single crochet border all the way down. Um, if you've never done a single crochet border, let me show you a couple of tips and tricks that will hopefully help y'all out. Give me just a moment. Okay, sorry, I had to rearrange a little bit. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Now I worked up this little swatch here to show you a couple of things that might happen when you're working a single crochet border. Now say your border starts looking like this. Okay, a couple of things can cause that. Um, either your hook size is too big or you have way too many stitches. In this particular sample here, I have too many stitches. And I, I mean, I crammed them in there just because I wanted to show you what it would look like. So if you're just starting to do this, you're going to just need to frog it back and put a bigger space between your stitches so that it will lay flat. So that's one thing. So if it starts curling, that's what it is. Too many stitches. Sometimes you can fix it by going down a hook size. Um, in this particular sample, like I said, I know it's because there are way too many stitches because I've got them super close together. So I need to frog it back. Okay. And then on this side, I just carried my yarn over, y'all. <laughs> if your project starts to form this little U. This is caused by having not enough stitches. So it gives the appearance that it's um, like when you're kind of looking at it, it looks fine. But if you lay it out, you can see that it's starting to make this U. And if you keep going, it's going to keep drawing it in like that. So this, in this case, you would need a frog back. Either A, go up to a larger hook or add a few more uh, stitches along this way so that it gives it a little more room so it can lay flat. Okay, let me grab my uh, project here and I will show y'all a little sample on how I get started. We're gonna, we're gonna see if this is actually the center pull. Cause you know, sometimes they stick this other side in and it goes all the way through. But yay, I like when the center pull is easy to find. Woohoo! Okay, so let me prop my project back up here. I know this blue is going to be hard to see, but it's what I've got here for his blanket. Okay, so I'm just going to go into this last stitch. Let me zoom down just a smidge. That might make it a little easier to see. And hopefully, did I turn off autofocus? I did. There we go. So I'm going to go into this last stitch here of the previous row. Y'all can see that. There we go. Right there where my thumb's at. So I'm going to go right into that stitch there. And that's where I'm going to attach my yarn. Pull my little slip. Hold on. Got my yarn all twisted. Pull my knot tighter here. There we go. Okay. Go into that stitch there. And draw up a loop and then I'm going to slip stitch into my hoop there. Where's my tail? Pull my tail across and then I'm going to work a chain one. Pull it a little tight. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch but I'm not working into the top of that stitch. I'm going to be working into the side. Whoop. Now on average, I will do, if I'm doing a single crochet, I will do one single crochet per row. So I'm going to go one here and then one here in the second row. Okay, now this is, um, I ended with two singles. So I'm going to do uh, two, two more singles in this color section here, and then I'm going to do two singles here. And I'm going to go underneath this carry 
here where I carried that yarn. I'm going to go underneath that one and work a single. Then I'm going to jump over here. Nope, I take that bag back out. That's the same one I just went in. I'm going to jump over here. Same thing, go underneath this, uh, the carry yarn. Still working over my tail and work a single crochet. Then I'm going to jump over here into this open space and work a single crochet. Then now I'm back to my two rows of single. So I'm going to go in this one here where this little stitch is coming out and work a single. And then I'm going to jump over to this one and work a single. Now here is where I, here is the easiest place I have found to be able to adjust your stitch count to keep it, uh, to keep it going flat. So here we ended with double crochet and then we started with a double crochet. Now I know based on the way I crochet, instead of doing two singles for each double, I'm going to do three single crochets across this section. So I'm going to go once into the first double, once where they join, and then one in the last double. So if you are doing one where you have double crochets, that might work for two rows of double crochet. And then the next two double crochets, I might need to do four stitches. You just kind of have to go by your gauge and see how your project is laying. Now you can't really see it right now, but this one right here is laying fairly flat. But I know if I do four single crochets in each of these doubles, or like if I do two single crochets in each double, I know that my side will start to curl. So for this one, I'm gonna work a single crochet here and just kinda guess where you want it to go and just push your hook right on through. Then right here is where the two join. So I'm going to do one there. And then in this opening here, I'm going to do another one. And then I'm back to my two rows of single crochet. And I'm just going to work a single in, at the end of each row. This here is where I ended with singles. So I'm just going to work a single in the end of each row. And then again, back here to my two rows of single crochets. Between, I'm going to work a single and a single. And then that is how it's looking. It just makes it nice and even for me. That's for my tension. Again, you may have to adjust it for yours based on what hook you're using. But just remember, if it starts to get all wavy, like this it starts getting wavy you have too many stitches or you need to go down a hook size to tighten up your stitches generally i would just keep using my hook frog that back and give me extra space but it depends on the project and the look i'm going for if it starts to make a u and starts to curl up like so that's not a very drastic U, but here, let me lay it like this. There you go. Now you can see how it's making a U laying on top of this one. Then I have not enough stitches, so I need to go back and add some more single crochets. You can also try going up a hook size, but again, same as with the other. Um, it's just dependent upon the look you were going for. If you don't have another hook, the easiest way is to go back and add some more stitches in there. All right. I hope that is helpful. I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish out this one. Baby boys is not getting a star stitch like baby girls did. For baby girls, I did go ahead and do a round of the single crochet to hide my to hide my carries. And then I did the, the star stitch after that. All right. Thanks y'all so much for coming and hanging out. I hope this was helpful. Remember, be creative. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.